Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we had an okay day of sales here. We, we've sold some interesting things for sure, some things that'll be interesting to talk about. We had a private sale, an off eBay sale. These were items that were never listed on eBay that a viewer saw in a video over on Commonwealth Flipper. And if you remember, we had a sale not too long ago to a viewer of all the My Little Pony items that were on the My Little Pony uh, kind of unboxing on Commonwealth Flipper. And they said, hey, I want this, this, and this. And then I'm like, how much for all of it? All the figures. And then we made a big deal on all the figures. But we had left out some of the plush and a couple other items. And somebody else said, hey, are you going to list those on eBay? I'm like, sure, I'm going to list them on eBay eventually. And then they contacted me through, I think it was Instagram. It may have been my email and said, hey, well, let's just make a deal for what's left. And I said, sure. So we made that deal. I'll show you what sold out of that. And there's a few other interesting items that sold, a couple of part out items, a couple of items from the lost and found sale that I think is interesting. And we'll add on our total there. A couple of viewer sales as well. So we'll let you all take a look at those. All right, the first one is this uh, softy, My Little Pony softy, it should be 1984, I believe. And I don't know the name of this one, to be perfectly honest with you. If it was listed on eBay, I could tell you the name of it. But this is a, uh, I don't know, maybe it's Pegasus. I don't know. It's got the little wings back here. So it's not a unicorn. At any rate, there's one. And there's a second one right there. All right, and then this little baby cap here with the little ponytail. <laughs> no pun intended. And this is 1984 as well. And there were none of these out there on eBay. So this one, I think... If I would have listed this on eBay, I probably would have listed it for 15 bucks. And this little uh, baby outfit here, and there were none of these that I could find either. Who knows? I don't know what I'd have listed this one for. Probably around $15 as well. If I would have sold those individually after fees, after all the expense and the trouble, I would have probably made close to 40 bucks. So that's what I offered this person. I was like, hey, how about 40 bucks? plus shipping and we'll do it on paypal or do it you know just whatever we'll figure out a way to to make the transaction work and then i'll send them off to you and it's one sale for me roughly the same amount i'd make on four sales and they're like absolutely let's go for it so we appreciate it and we hope you enjoy all right here is the super giant print bible i mean this thing is huge and it is from Jerry Falwell Ministries, which is interesting. Usually it says uh, Old Time Gospel Hour, but it doesn't say that on this one. So this is gigantic, and this thing sold for $21.41. It'll go medium mail shipping. It does have a little bit of damage, and it is a pretty good deal. This was one of those giant Bibles that we bought in the Appomattox sale, the private pick that we went down to Richard, the storage guy. And that's on Commonwealth Flipper if you want to check that out. But this one right here is going to put us over the top. All the money we spent down there, we've now made back and made a little bit of profit. And we still have quite a few little items to go. All right, we are also in the pure profit on these. I have a stack of them up there. There were a total of 60. We're, we've sold probably eight or nine of them off. We were in the profit before we sold any individual ones because we paid $10 and we sold two giant lots for about 180 bucks. So these are all pure profit. We did one off these listings because they're not something that you could lot together really well because a lot of people aren't going to get these. They want a particular item and they're not high priced anyways. This was 10 bucks. So 10 bucks minus 275 for shipping. We'll say a buck 50 for fees. I mean, so you're making about maybe 550, 575 on this. All right, this is off of an ab lounge that I got at a private pick. I haven't aired that video yet. I haven't decided if we're going to put it on Commonwealth Picker or Commonwealth Flipper. That reminds me, a lot of you when you watch the yard sale videos are like, how are you getting yard sales out there in the middle of the winter? I'm not. This, this is excess video from the summer. So I'll just warn you right now, if you watch those videos, you know, the quality of them as we get deeper into winter is probably going down a little bit. Either way, we appreciate you being on either channel and, and there's some interesting content on both. So anyway, this is one that we got from that private pick and it sold for $24.21 free shipping. It'll be under $3 to ship it. It's really light. So this is all pure profit at this point. We made our money back on the first item. Actually, we almost made our money back on the screws from that thing. We were $1 short of making our money back. So we're going to end up making about $35 off of these two bungees when it's all said and done. If you want to know the Ab Lounge or the Ab Lounge 2 or the Ab Lounge Sport, and I think there's one other type too that's gray, and I can't remember the name of that. So, hey, okay, easy money.
All right, you often hear me say that I don't promote items and I don't put items on sale very often. Well, I had a plethora of these pearl snap shirts, and this one's not vintage, it's American Eagle. And I just had so many for so long that this got to, to the far left of my closet. So I, I put things in from the right to the left in a particular closet where I keep all the long sleeve western shirts or button down, whatever. And this one had clearly moved all the way to the left, which means it's been sitting there for probably a year and it hadn't sold. So I went and revisited the listing. I decided to give it a shot with a promoted listing and reduce the price. And that's what I did. So we ended up not promoting it for much, getting sixteen fifty for it. And it probably cost me, you know, another 50 cents or so for promoted, maybe a little bit more, 75. We were only getting about 16 bucks out of this shirt, paid $4 for it. You figure $3 in fees, seven. So I'm probably making about eight, $8 on it, maybe a little bit more. So it's nothing special, but at least it's gone. So it's a nice little shirt. Sold a couple of little mousetrap balls. I sell a bunch of these. You know, I used to do a lot of board game parting out and it just, it's, it's fine, it's, it's wonderful, it makes you a little bit of money, but I used to do that when I couldn't do a lot of sourcing, when, when my little ones were really little at home and I couldn't be out all day on the weekends and downstairs, my wife needed a little bit of help. That's when I started doing a little bit of that because it took up so little space and I could still get some sales and make a little bit of money and I kind of don't do it any anymore, but occasionally we sell a little mousetrap board game part. All right, this is an item that Reagan took pictures of, and she was smart enough. I don't know if she remembered from the past when we did this, but whenever you come across these White Hots, you got to check to see if it has the chip in it or not. Uh, they're ball markers, but they're really like poker chips, and they slide right in here, and they have Velcro on them like that, and she found it and took a picture of it, and if you take a picture of it with that thing showing, you usually get a little bit more. Instead of getting $9 for it, you usually get $10 for it, so this one sold for 10 bucks and it was free ship i think 10 bucks free ship so i'm pretty happy with that it went to a first time ebay buyer which i think is interesting and so we'll ship that out we're on the pure profit on this this is the lost and found sale this was a golf course pick over there on commonwealth flipper and it really wasn't a pick at all i bought all their lost and found items except for golf clubs i bought all their lost and found items except for their clubs i bought all their club head covers and shirts and all kinds of different stuff that was lost and found. I would say half of it was garbage and maybe 10 to 15% of it was good enough to donate and the rest was good enough to sell. And we're making money a little bit at a time. Sold some golf bags already, two of the four we bought and this one sold for $9.99. So you figure it's less than $3 to ship, probably between, you know, $268 to uh, let's say $290, something like that, $3. Pretty cheap to ship this thing because it's going to be under four ounces and a buck fifty in fees. So you're looking at about a five fifty profit on this. And we're going to show you where we're at on that particular sale in just a second. But this item sold off of it as well. And sometimes I got to scratch my head. And so there was a bunch of used golf gloves because people leave them in their golf cart. How many were there? Looks like there was, looks like there was six of them. And I think four of them are foot joy. One is bionic. And one is, well, maybe five of them are foot joy and one's bionic. Looks like that's what it is. And these were all the same size, size large. And I actually wear this size when I play golf, but I don't get to play golf too much anymore. And they have these little clips on them too, these little ball markers on them as well. Some of them do anyway. So what I did was I put them in lots by size and there was only, I think, one XL. So I just ended up uh, donating that one. And I ended up, the ones that were in bad shape, you know, these are all used, but they're still usable. And these things can be expensive. I mean, FootJoy gloves, if you get a good deal on them, you get them for 15 bucks. But you can pay 20 bucks all day long on a golf course for these. So I took the little clips off the ones that were in bad shape. And I'm going to try and lock those together and see if I can make a little money off of that, which would surprise me. But what the heck, these sold, these sold for 20 bucks. So if you can make 20 bucks off of these used golf gloves... You know, that's pretty good money. So you're going to end up making about $15 profit on these, maybe $14.50. And we'll add that to our total from the uh, Lost and Found Golf Course sale.
All right, so there you have it. 14 for that, five for the club head cover, and we have taken our $250 initial investment and turned it into 239 so far. So we're just $11 short of making our money back, and we still have two brand new golf bags, and we still have probably 50 to 75 golf club head covers that I have not even listed. I've listed like 12 of them, so we still have a long way to go on that. All right, and this is a Fleet Inniman. So if you are new to the show, because we have had tons and tons and tons of subscribers, like a thousand in the last week, this is a Fleet Inniman plush. And I bought 1,500 of these to sell, and our viewers have bought these over and over and over again. All I can say is it's just kind of a way to say thank you to us, I guess. Either that or there is a tremendous demand for, for plush enemas out there. And a viewer bought this one, and let me read this note, because this one kind of touched me a little bit. We are YouTube subscribers and supporters. Please, can you personally autograph our Enema plush dedicated to Alicia uh, with your name? It is our... Alicia is our special needs daughter. I will... It will make... It will make us happy to get a shout out uh, on one of your videos. Uh, we have a part-time eBay reseller store. So, at any rate, that's very, very... Hus husband and wife reseller. That's the name of the store, I believe. Is that right? Husband and wife reseller. So, at any rate, that is very flattering. I don't even know what to say. Um, Alicia, this is going out to you, and we really appreciate it. And you know what? We're going to send two of them. We're going to send one to you, Alicia, and we're going to send one to your mom and dad. So, thank you so much. I'm looking at this thing and I'm wondering how the heck I'm going to autograph this thing. So I think maybe underneath the cape maybe might be a good place to put an autograph. So we'll see. Thank you again. All right. As always, hang around and see what's after this part of the video. We usually do some shipping. We either check in on the Commonwealth cabin, see what's going on in there, or we let the kids come on and do something. So at any rate, hang around and check out what's next and we'll see you next time.